What is up YouTube? This is Antilles Gaming here, and today we are back on Metro Exodus. So where it the last one ended, Anna decided to go wandering up by herself and fell into this pit. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of radiation in here and she didn't think to turn her gas mask on. No 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 fuck. Damn it. Okay, so I have no ammo on my main weapons. All I have is this. So I'm hoping that this can help. So right now we're trying to find a way out. I'm so used to the other game. I'm not used to just being able to press stuff. Oh yeah, and yeah, it turns out that you do have to charge this. So apparently whenever you want to charge it, you have to hold the button that you use to get to the light. Which that makes me wonder. Yep. Yeah, I'm so used to having to hit the bumper and then hit something to uh see to see what I gotta pull up. There's a weapon in there. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Ah, oh, sweet. Maybe that'll keep it from getting as degraded gun, but eh, I think we can get. Guess whoever was here died sitting. Yeah, Anna, cough, cough. That's what happens when you don't put your gas mask on. Wait, so I can pick this stuff up? Okay, okay, okay. We're... Let's go find that way out. What this stuff? Can I... Yes, I can. No, I can't. That's a lot of nuclear material. What was this place? If I had to take a guess, I would say that this is probably a... just a nuclear... material disposal type site. Sneak up and melee it. <gasps> yeah, 
Yeah, now for these, I'm only going to kill them because, like I said in the last one, I don't think they would want to be stuck like that forever. Day. At least this area is clearer. Okay, I just got a. I just got this weird trophy. It just said Martian. Is that a reference to the movie Martian? I think with uh, Ben Affleck or something. I didn't. I didn't see the movie, but I think there's a scene like where. He just patches his helmet with duct tape or something. <sighs> Okay, all right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. 
<laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <laughs> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. back help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us Artyom I am feeling better now really I am you so just stay with her and watch her real enemy bases look like so that we know when when we see it Serious? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we're letting you be serious too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in what 20 years or so. Fences, some guard towers, patrols, some buildings. Bases look like bases. Nothing like that around here. We have yet to see anything even remotely resembling one. But if we do, I'll be sure to go say hi. If I can still remember how to speak English. Uh, uh, all right, Just don't be mad. Do you guys really believe you're gonna see any Americans here? I was hesitant at first, but now I've been dying to any American we're ever gonna see out here. <laughs> well, that's fine by me, since we can always talk things out with you, Sam. <laughs> So I wonder if it's doing the whole situation of since we're in Russia to us we're speaking Russian but it's just coming out as English so that people can understand but I'm sure like in Russia they're actually speaking Russian but I'm just wondering that because Sam, he's apparently American. So maybe if we do find American forces, maybe he can try to talk some sense into him or something. I don't know. Now we got to talk to Miller because now he wants to throw the civilians out, even though one has medical training, which could be useful to us. Don't know why he would pass that opportunity up. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. And I was... Honestly, I was thinking, that's something we could really... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still... And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <gasps> oh, darling, <laughs> you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does.
Okay. I'm talking some sense to this guy, like, seriously. She's a medic, we need her. Alright, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the trader's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll. Then move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nasia will be so grateful. Here, Artyom, it's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich, no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom. Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. Hey, I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great it's worth job the risk. persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench. With storage space for all my tools. And some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here. Just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your T-Hour. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. So...
now he has all the weapons that I already had found. Airtight pneumatic system. Airtight pneumatic system works pretty much as standard, but it doesn't lose air and pressure. Sweet! No, 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 no! I keep hitting circle to... I'm gonna go at night, so I'm gonna need my stealth weapon. Keep doing this, but okay. So I won't. Hopefully, I won't have to use. Hopefully, I want to use the. Yeah, I know. I keep doing this over and over again, but. <sighs> And I don't have the credit supplies. Okay. Whatever. We're heading out. I already got a stealth weapon, too. Okay, uh... Is there a... Bed or something? On a bus without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Elantius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now. So wish him luck. And you, Stefan. Thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask... There, where the big tanks are... If you find my teddy bear... Just in case you do... Could you bring him home? A demon took him... A flying one... It was scary... They live there... It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. We got a long way to go. Oh, but I can see where the uh, bear is. It's in that direction. Uh, right now I wish I could sleep till night. Okay. Hi, Artyom. How are you, Horror Show? <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna go start heading there. First, I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way, then move around to the, like, where Crest Camp was, and basically go back that way. That way I can also stop at that, at the, uh, houses and sleep there till night, and then I will head there, get the bear, and then go get the... And then go get the rail car. So, I will see all of you when I get the teddy bear. Shit. Fucking anomaly. Just remember what Khan said. When, if it comes close, just don't move. Don't move. This 
Speaking of Khan, it's like I'm... I'm hoping we get to see him again. I hope he's okay. Because they didn't say that he died, He ju they just said he disappeared after the big fight. Hope he's okay. This place is full of anomalies. And I can hear something growling in the distance. There they are. So we need to try to get up there. Loading rope. I do like the feature where you can put your weapon away and take it back out. Not really sure why, why or when I took damage. Oh shit! There's a fucking demon sleeping up here. I'm out. I'm out of here. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. That's right there. Oh. Shit. Don't. 
Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> that was barely even a drop. It's like, you see the anomalies and it's like, I wonder what, what the heck they're supposed to be, like... I mean, they can't just be sentient, uh... They can't just be sentient balls of energy. But apparently on here they probably are. Well, hello, my blood brother! Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were heading to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambushed the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from lowlifes like these. So, I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh, well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there, too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack. So there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out. But the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post. <laughs> hmm. Good little spot he has up there. I'm gonna just sleep till it's night again, just to make sure that we'll move out and go get, go save the uh, captives, and then go get the rail car. I kind of wish I had a night vision or something. Jeez, there are a lot of anomalies in this area. That's three so far. Shit! 
Sorry, doggy. There's what there's one thing on video games I hate is shooting a dog. Come on out. Come on out. You see your man, look up. Look up. Yeah, I did. I did hear something about that at uh, E3, where if you attack a bandit camp, you can uh, Don't leave us locked, you can please. like knock them out after. Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Prayer is great, but I'd like to thank you with something more substantial. Listen close. There's a room in the terminal. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, take this key. You're a sinner anyway, and there might be something of use for you there. Simon, you mustn't. Celantius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. Oh, of course not. I won't tell. Let's give him some time to rest, then we'll walk back to the bridge, with the Lord's help. Yes, his will be done. Ah. <sighs> It's like there's always the one guy that's like has to be that way with the whole Oh, if you do that you'll be as communicated, blah 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 blah. Like uh you know, I could have just not saved your life. I could have just, you know, kept walking. I mean, y'all tried to kill me, so really I have if I could have just left y'all to die. But no, I'm a good person. So I saved you. Okay, so now that we have them freed, I'll be back when we are at the rail car. Okay. Looks like we're getting closer. Had some bandits back there, but I was able to avoid them. I sometimes don't get why he walks so slow.
Anything useful in here? This is still in good condition. Am I being attacked or? No, I think they were attacking something else. I'm in the right spot, huh? Yeah. So there's supposed to be a rail car in here? Taking a wild guess and say that might be it. So it's like I'm wondering, is this, is this the terminal? Because you say you can only get here by boat and... The guy would... Uh, whenever I freed the guys, he gave me a key for the terminal. To see if... Gotta say, now that I found this, found this uh new uh bullet clip for it, makes it a hell of a lot easier. Maybe I gotta do some with this one. Ooh, that's a lot of coal. We could use that.
Okay, seriously, the drops that I'm making aren't even that big of a drop, so how am I taking damage from it? Let's see what we found. Looks like it was something. Hmm. I don't think the attachment I found was for any weapons that I have on me right now. Oh, shit, we're running low on time for this episode. So, I'm going to cut it here, and we'll pick up right here in the next episode and get that rail car. So, yeah. With all that being said, thanks all you so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave a comment down below, because your comments are the only way that I can improve on these. And, if you want to chat me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on my Twitter at Antilles Gaming. And... With all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode. <laughs>